Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today's video is going to be, well, probably a little premature, uh, but what it is specifically going to be about is adapting the new road plate system that's coming out in December to your modular buildings. Now I made a small example here and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make it work in your city. So if this is something that interests you, stick around because it's coming up. Now, just to start the video and to jump right into things, what I've done is I've grabbed a portion of one of my modular buildings. This is half of the pet shop mock or modular building. And I know a lot of people, as you can see here, this is what it would actually come like. Uh, I don't have some of the detail that's supposed to be back here, but this is what the modular buildings look like and this is how they're built. Now, to try and show you one more thing, this is how the new modular road plates are going to be. Um, now, keep in mind, I don't have all the exact pieces to build it identical to what that they're doing. Um, I'm missing the corner pieces, and I also, these pieces are going to be printed tiles. And it's going to be a narrow white line in between them. I just put the 2 by 4 tile there, just as a reference to show what the road is. So technically, the lanes are going to be 7 studs wide. So it's not as narrow as people actually were initially thinking anyway. But uh, the, here's the big concern that everybody has. As you can see here, and to me it's not that bad, the road is a half plate higher than the modular building. And I know that's got a lot of people up and at arms. And really to me it's not that big a deal. And I'm going to show you today how quickly and easily it will be to remedy this specific issue. Again, it is a super easy fix, but here's your modular building and how it's supposed to be built. Here's the new road, and yes, it's taller. Well, just to show you, me personally, what I would actually do is I would transfer all these two plates. Um, that's how I will solve the issue myself, but uh, I'm not actually even doing the roads or anything this manner and fashion, so I'm going to have a whole different issue, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of great parts in my opinion. But here's the quick solution. Take yourself another base plate. Simply take your modular and set it right on top of that base plate. Problem is solved. Mind you, I know that sounds really goofy, and it probably even looks goofy to see a building on top of another base plate like that. But once you put them on and you kind of line it up and you put the road in front of it, guess what? You have a step up for your curb again, so it works wonderfully. And if you want the building to be even higher, what you can do is you can take the basic base plate, flip it upside down, and then take your modular building and set that on top of it. And that even gives you just a slight bit more of lift for your curb. Uh, so to me, you can do it either way. Either way will work. Either way looks great, in my opinion. Just trying to give you one more quick view so you can see there is now a curb there. And again, it's either you can do it this way, or if you take this and flip it over, it makes it slightly lower, but you still have the curb there. So to me, it's an easy fix either way. Now, mind you, to me, the best solution is still to transfer your modular buildings over to plates. But if you don't want to do that, that is a really quick and easy solution in order to give you your curb height and to maintain a really attractive looking road once the new road plate system comes out because I do want to remind everybody that the old base plates are being discontinued and that new road system is coming. It is official and they will be here in December. But also I want to point out that all the new Lego sets, because I do have confirmation of this as well, will be coming with some roads as well. So I think it'll be a lot easier and quicker to amass the new road system than people really think. And anyway, that's all for this video. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And we'll see you guys next time on Bevan's Bricks.